So my agenda would be wireless and phishing analysis. These three core topics that we take off today. So we'll start with this one interesting one phishing analysis and Wi-Fi hacking, right? We Wi-Fi hacking, Wi-Fi concepts, Wi-Fi access point. These thing auditing, reporting. I'll give you in a task manner so that you can test it in your own Wi-Fi environment also at your home. Just you need to have Kali Linux. That's it. Nothing else you need, guys. Okay. Yes, if you are running inside the VM, yes, you need a Wi-Fi adapter and an external Wi-Fi adapter because Kali doesn't support Wi-Fi directly. You have to give it something externally that would be needed. So 200, 300 bits adapter, just like you use it in your Wi-Fi mouse. Okay, that is required over there. That is the only thing. So we'll cover up these it's complete wireless complete. So these little things I will cover up with you today. Cool phishing analysis over here guys. So phishing analysis means we have to learn both attack and defend mode over here both. My first question to everybody over here whosoever in the meeting right now in the session right now is I want to find all the similar domain names of a particular domain, right? So my question is if I write the question. All the possibilities regarding a domain we will start with this. Okay, so the question is how to find all the possibilities regarding a domain. Okay, that means the question meaning is let's suppose Cisco is there. Okay, Cisco, we can write like this. We can write like this. How do I find these kind of possibilities? Okay, so let's suppose you have current.com, infosectrain.com, infosectrain.com. I can write something like this. And if somebody gives you a mail from this thing, it's not a big task. Okay, so first thing is we need to find all the possibilities regarding a subdomain. So this can be done via a tool which is there in the Kali, which is known as URL crazy. Simple. I'll showcase you the possibility of this tool. URL crazy. And after that, you write the domain name. That's it. Any domain name you write, it will give you all the possibilities regarding the possible subdomains. Okay. Second thing for phishing that we actually need up is how to find all the emails regarding a corporate. We did this thing in the first class, by the way. How to find emails of a corporate belonging to a corporate? Nob.io was giving you the same thing or the harvester. If we have not run, we will run it today. This can also give you the details. Okay, so this is also done. This is done from our side. Okay, now basically I'll showcase you one uh, simulation in front of you. We have a thing which is known as you can disturb anyone using this website. There is no problem. It's a fake mailer mki.cz. It's a fake mailer. Okay, so I will open up this one and I'll write for you. This is a fake mailer fake emailer. Okay, so this is there with us. Now we have to do the analysis. I'll throw you some challenges also that we'll do together. Okay, so from email, from name, let's suppose my company CEO name is like Prabhnath. From email, prab at the rate infosectrain.com. Two, I have an email which is a testing email which I generally use it on Gmail. Okay, not a testing one, it's completely there. And I write like salary appraisal over here. Okay. And I write over here that your salary has been upgraded by $6,000. That's enough. So in the advanced settings, I am setting the priority to low. Okay. Low priority set. This URL is there in your chat box. I'll give you the privilege to use it as well. Now I'm sending mail set. Can anybody tell me this mail will be there in the inbox or it will be there in the spam box? It's there in my inbox box. You see the top mail. Looks good. I can spoof any email and I can send it. Okay. So this is an high important mail which is coming. You can see important according to Google Magic. Click to teach Gmail this configure. Uh, this conversation is not important. Okay. I'm opening this thing. So as soon as I open, you see this one, this question mark. It says 
Google could not verify that InfoSec train actually sent this email. It's not a spammer, but they cannot verify. Correct. So there is something wrong with this for sure. Otherwise, this question mark would not come like this. Something should come B or maybe his photograph. Something should come up over here. Okay. So this is like it reaches over here. Correct. Now we have two, three things, guys, that we need to understand before I showcase you the header. Correct. So what we have over here, we have something, some records are there. SPF, DKIM. D mark okay MX these things are there with us correct what is an SPF record I'll give you time to read just look at the full form right now okay if you don't know no problem in that domain key identified mail okay D mark is something it's a combination of SPF plus DKIM you can say it's a complete production and MX is mail exchange okay this is this one so basically we have to learn the status of these things correct so spf status generally whenever you talk about the status part spf is generally fail pass soft fail hard fail and temp error per mirror these things will come up onto the screen i'll tell you where it will come how it will come and when it will come okay this thing is there temp error per error these things will come up with you okay now dkim dkim always it will showcase you pass or fail only these two status nothing else dmark also will showcase you pass or fail only this much okay mail exchange is a record nothing else so you just focus on uh, like i will give this a color so that we can distinguish Focus on the black area, the black area, whatever we make right now, right? And just read what is SPF, what is DKIM, and what is DMARC. Any definition, one liner for SPF, right? So I will write something. It's an authentication technique. That prevents spammers, I would say spammers from sending email to you on your behalf i would say on your behalf okay that is there okay dkim what is the thing over there what is the dkim so a verify like this is authentication which is there and i would say this will validate the authenticity of the mail right so whenever a mail is signed right so whenever you say there is domain key identified field there is a key pair over here private key public key and basically we use in the mails which encryption we use in the mails pgp pretty good privacy okay so key pairs are always there private key public key on receiving on to from the isp so using the public key in the dns so you have your private key you will decrypt the message and do you will see so somebody will not alter in between Okay, so it is a method I would say to validate of validation for the authenticity of the mail. Authenticity can also be there once you have the key value of it. Okay, authenticity of the email. So status we need to talk about. It's a combination and mail exchange is nothing. It's a mail server, mail exchange server which is there. Okay, now fail, pass, soft fail, hard fail, temp error, per error. First of all, these status. Look at the screen. So fail means like it will fail and it will land up to your directly to your spam box directly. If it is passed, it will be coming into the inbox. Okay. So where and how I'll see the status, I'll go to my email. This one is my email. I'll open this one and you can see you can open email header over here. Show original. Okay. Show original. You see status is coming. This is mail server IP. Okay. You can see right now this is the soft fail okay and this is a fail d mark is failing meaning somebody is tampering for sure okay somebody is tampering for sure over here because i'm using my ceo's email and i'm sending to myself that's a problem okay i cannot use this authenticity anywhere if it is coming from the original source uh, maybe like they are using google suit or they are using outlook or your uh, microsoft exchange server over there then you can say this thing will be passed sometimes this thing is also not shown over here if you use a vpn connection okay so this status will come up over here this is how we do the email header analysis this is on the defending side okay we have to do attacking as well i'll tell you how to make it pass as well 
both the things you can make it pass okay so this status we need to learn fail and pass it will be landing into spam box okay soft fail hard will i will come to that i'll give you a link also i'll post it over here first you read then you tell me what is the doubt over there okay temp error per error i'll tell you this is temporary error and permanent error so temporary error means there is some configuration problem in the mail server sometime what happen guys you send a mail to somebody it bounce back okay bounce back why it happen there is some problem at the receiving end mail transfer agent there is some problem at the receiving end it bounces the email back to you permanent error there is a permanent problem some damage or there is a high possibility that your mail server gets down over there somebody is doing a dos over there mail server gets down it's a perm error that will come up okay similarly dkim pass or fail two things only you will see nothing else so if anything is getting tampered in the mail dkim will be there for sure okay so dmark was there that was a combination of this thing generally most of the organization they use a combination of these two things dmark is used everywhere generally so dmark is a protection it is a service so let's suppose you have a godaddy account or something where you purchase your domain so they will give you dmark protection that is a combination of both the things okay so it will showcase you whether both the things are failing or it is passing how it is getting through okay soft fail hard fail let's make out a difference over here these two things soft fail and hard fail okay so look at the screen right now carefully i am opening one thing over here okay i am giving you this article just read in next 4 minutes okay from here what is a soft fail example is written when you go down there is a soft fail and there is a hard fail also example is written all right so hard fail what you get guys it says if you put a minus in the front of the ip address what does that mean only yeah. this one will be allowed whosoever you specify that will be allowed rest everything will be dropped okay rest everything will be dropped anything which is not listed any sender which is not listed in your spf record should be treated as hard fail that means they are unauthorized so it will treat as unauthorized and emails from them should be discarded so let's suppose i would say generally people do what in the real time people do email bombing sending you in one minute maybe 1000 email 2000 email possibility is there okay if a single source is there at least you can go to the spf in the mail server you can go to the spf record put the ip or whatever ip just the trusted source you put everything discard temporary solution not a permanent solution but a temporary solution you can minimize the risk over there okay soft fail is saying what it's showing us tilt sign this is the significance of it tilt sign in okay what is the meaning of this it will come inside or not this is what it is showcasing us over here right but in my case what happens see so like if i if i see let's suppose this is a complete header right basically this is a complete header okay what information we get from here this is one thing 1 2 3 4 4 point i write over here apart from this we have a return path which you generally say reply to and these things so return path is also there sometimes there is a problem with the return path as well people give a bad return path for example you must have seen most of the shopping which are going on right now in your gmail or yahoo mail these are return path are different you can see them okay originating ip these things are showcased in this header originating ip okay then we have sender ip who is the sender you can get that too also you get generally from or reply to these are the common things you get this thing and eighth point you get recipients those are your recipients who will be sending to everything you will get it over here okay recipients is also over here so these are the stuff that we generally see up over here in this particular email header which is going towards over here okay so this thing we will notice first thing okay then uh, you will see over here when i open this thing manual analysis is little bit difficult but it is not impossible okay best method is doing the manual analysis only also no problem in that for example you can see spf here it is okay then you will see uh, mki.cz this is the mail server ip that i see over here originating ip i can call my recipient is this one okay then client ip you will see 
the client IP is also there. Okay, then DMARC fail, there is no problem in that. Okay, then body, this is the entire body. Then receive by also it is there. See, receive by this one. This is again my email ID, which is there from this one, which is there. Returning path, we can search return path over here. Return, yeah, here it is. Return path is okay. Sometimes people will do what they will spoof the mail, but they will give the return path to something else. So generally, what is written like any email from the bank you must have seen when they give you an advertisement over there, they will say, Do not reply to this email because that email doesn't go around anywhere so it is just one way it is not a two-way communication just one way that's it okay so in order to analyze nicely what we can do we can copy this over here and let's open there is a thing called email header analyzer okay you go over here mx toolbox email header analyzer put the thing over here and give to him he will tell you whether the ip is blacklisted or whether it is whitelisted or how it is working just click on analyze header i just copy pasted okay it will load and you can see the result in front of me see this is a blacklisted ip it is on a blacklist okay clearly this doesn't look sounds good over here clearly results are good no false positive results are good in the corporate these things are used very nicely see the things which we were studying see software okay that is the reason i made you to study the notations minus means hard fail tilde means all this means all and the pass and fail these things will not come up okay so from here we can say spf authentication spf is failing over here for this ip okay so these information you will get nicely what is the return path which i was showcasing you manually importance error to reply to all things will come up over here nicely okay so mx toolbox email header analyzer this one is there 